I thought I'd just do a little short feeding video again of my fire eel. I've had her for more than four and a half years. I purchased her at Wet Spot. Back in 2013 in February. I'm going to give her some uh, shrimp today. She's going to come up here to the top, I think. And eat a little shrimp from my fingers. She's about 33 inches long. Yeah. See if she wants to eat any more. If she does, she would stick her hand, head out the end of that tube. Looks like this will just be a short feeding video. It's a little bit on the shy side. She's not swimming clear through. You can see her tail sticking out here. Oh, there she is. There you go. You want to eat some more? Come on out, Cinderella. I'm going to just drop that and see what she does. Well, she ate it. Does she want to come out for some more? Huh? I'm a little bit shy today. Some more shrimp right here, Cinderella. <laughs> oh, she's just swimming behind her hiding spot. She just wants to put a little fat on for winter, maybe. I just recently turned her uh, heater back on in the aquarium and uh, raising the temperature up to about 80 degrees. All summer long I have the heater turned off. I think the temperature stays about 76 or so. Anyway, she's going to eat some more shrimp. This is the last piece, Cinderella. She's very agile. And it looks like that. Yeah, she's going to swim clear through. And about eight inches sticks out that end. About one inch sticks out this end here. Got one more shrimp here for you, Cinderella. Doesn't look like she wants to eat eight shrimp today. Seven might be all she's good for. I hope you enjoyed this little short uh, feeding video of my fire eel. I have her in a 50 gallon aquarium and I use under gravel filtration with a large uh, sand or gravel base. It's round, it's coated, it's very old sand. I think I've had most of it for more than 15 years. and. Uh, Looks like she is not going to eat anymore. So this can...